Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Keswick Chapel. My name is Robert Wallace. I'm the lead pastor, and I want to welcome you to this Saturday morning's edition of the Devotion and Prayer Time. Today is Saturday, June the 20th, and I'm excited that you've decided to join me. Whether you're joining me right now at 6 a.m. or you're going to join later on through the day, I pray that you'll find this time of devotion and prayer a blessing to you. Our Bible song today is Psalm 133. Now, we've been reading Psalm 133.1 for the last week, and we're going to read it again this morning, but I want to encourage you to read the entire passage. I think you'll find it a blessing to you. So 133.1 says this, How good and pleasant is it when God's people live together in unity. Amen. Father, we love you this morning. We ask that you would open our hearts, open our minds, that we may receive your truth. Give us ears to hear and eyes to see, Father. Lead us and guide us. We pray these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today we're going to be looking at Romans chapter 13, verses 8 through 12. And I won't comment on the entire chapter, but there are some things here that I think we really need to think about today. And, well, really, I think I need to think about it, and I pray that you'll think on them as well. How's that? Because, because we are doing this journey together. 13, verses 8 and 12. Let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another. For whoever loves others has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet. And whatever other command there may be are summed up in this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no harm to its neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. The uh, interesting thing is, is we talk about all these different laws, and even Jesus himself said the very same thing that Paul is reminding us today, that we're to love God and to love others as ourselves. If we're loving others as we love ourselves, then we can never be guilty of any of these commandments that God has given us to live by. And aren't you glad we don't live under the law, but we are encouraged to understand that the fulfillment of the law is to love our neighbor as ourselves, to love God first with everything that we are, and then to love our neighbors as ourselves. Continuing on, and do this, understand the present time. The hour has already come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is nearly over. The day is almost here. So let us put aside our deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. This, my friends, is the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks be unto God. The time has come for us to put aside the, the deeds of the flesh, to put aside everything that would prohibit us from loving God with all of who we are, and then our neighbor is ourselves. And here's the prayer this morning from the Heidelberg Confession 107. Compelling Lord and Savior, thank you for the beauty of a gospel-centered life. Your kingdom calling isn't that we merely avoid evil and keep our noses clean but that we work for the good of those around us. So plunge us deep into gospel living in our neighborhoods, exhibiting a patience, peace-loving, gentle life of love that protects others and seeks the good of all, even our enemies. Amen. That's such a wonderful prayer, and it so directly echoes what Paul has told us in Romans chapter 13. If we are living a gospel-centered life, which is what? To love God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and our neighbors as ourselves, then we fulfill what Christ has commanded us to do with regard to this love. And then, as we go out and we make disciples of all men, is the way the verse reads, if we go out and we make disciples, of those who don't know Jesus Christ, then we fulfill, the com we fulfill the commission that Jesus has given us to go and make disciples of all men and all the nations throughout the world, teaching them everything that Jesus taught us. What did Jesus teach us? To love God with our heart, mind, soul, and strength and our neighbor as ourselves. 
Paul's blessing for us this morning is from Ephesians 3, chapter 3, verses 16 through 17. I pray it for you, I pray it for me, as Paul prayed it for the church at Ephesus. I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. Amen. I pray for you today that you will have a blessed day. I pray that you will have a wonderful weekend and that you will see the opportunities that Christ has for you today to be his hands and feet, to be the light to your family, to your neighbors, to wherever you go. May God's grace and mercy be upon you today. Blessings. Bye for now.